we've got another palette unboxing. This one I'm pretty excited about. It's kind of like a complete mystery because it's not actually titled like this is electronics or this is toys or this is home goods. It's kind of like a mixture of everything. So my liquidator pretty much said this is like a hodgepodge of electronics, home goods. There can be some clothes in it. There could be grilling accessories. It's pretty much, it could be anything in these boxes. So stay tuned because these are true anything kind of mystery boxes, Amazon liquidations. So to start this off, would you please make sure and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have so much fun on this channel. We've got palette videos galore. I've got created playlists on my main YouTube page now to check out all my palette videos all in one place. So there's four boxes here that came on one palette. The boxes are 20 by 16 by 16. The MSRP of all four boxes, if everything is brand new, only if. It never is though. These are customer returns, Amazon warehouse damage, and Amazon warehouse overstock. But the full retail value of all four boxes is $1,560. What I actually paid my liquidator is $151.69. So we'll just call this $1,500 and I paid 150, so I paid 10%. I didn't pay any shipping charges because I buy from a local private liquidator. So I pick up all the auctions myself and save two to $300 on each liquidation. Key, buy your liquidations locally, pick them up yourself, save a lot of money on shipping. This coming week, We've got some awesome palettes I'm gonna be on, opening on this channel. Probably Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday, probably Wednesday, I'm gonna have my next toy liquidation palette. I've got a good feeling about this one. I picked up three of them. <coughs> I'm gonna pick one of them, unbox them, and hopefully it's a good one. This coming Friday, this Friday night, I picked up an electronics palette and I paid I think it was a little over $400 for it. I paid quite a bit, and it's way over $2,000 worth of value. So there might be some un insane stuff in that one because I paid up for that palette. So this Friday night, electronics, probably Wednesday night, maybe Tuesday, we got toys. I might surprise you and throw in another one. We'll see. So let's get going on this. So everything in these boxes, I sell on platforms like eBay, Amazon, Let Go, Offer Up, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and my resale shop. And prices fluctuate between selling platforms. Some sell for more, some sell for less. So, first box. Doesn't look bad. Show you what it looks like. Looks clean. Doesn't look dirty. Pull out the first thing. It is a King sheet set, Silver Hill, 100% cotton. King and Queen are pretty much your money sizes for uh, like bedding. And I'll have to check this out much closer, make sure it's not used. Um, it looks like it has been pulled out one time, but I mean, this thing probably sells for at least 30, 40 bucks. So, awesome. So what, what I, I spent 150 on this, so right there, that is an awesome first start. Next, pure filters. It's opened up. It is not new. Let's see if they're new or used. Uh, I can't tell that first one. I think, actually, yeah, they're supposed to come sealed in silver wrappers, aren't they? There's a 99% chance that these filters are used. I'm going to have to research these things to make sure, but there's a 100%, 99.9% chance these are used. So more likely somebody returned their used ones and they kept the new ones. But I'll have to double check and make sure. So this might be trash. It's okay though. Next, we've got an absolute beat up box of a salad shooter. Interesting. So it looks like on the inside. It's loose packaging. It's clean. It's not dirty whatsoever. That looks to be in fantastic condition. If this thing was used, it was probably like 
maybe one time, but I don't think it was even used. It looks like it's brand new condition still. So that is awesome. But something like this, probably at least 15, 20 bucks. Easy, um, probably either eBay or my resale shop. Everything else on this video will be for sale. If you wanna buy anything, all you gotta do, hit me up on email social media direct links to get in contact with me are in the description box of this video and i will reply back to you if things are still for sale or not what is this here's just a brown box we've got a mystery box in a mystery box how mysterious is that what in the world it's like Okay. Uh, oh, it's some kind of a circuit board for something. This could actually be very expensive depending on what it's for. Look at this thing a little bit closer. Put it down gently. Looks like there's the model number right there on that label. You can see it like WRX something. So that's the model number. Of what it goes to but that looks like the circuit board so that might be for maybe a refrigerator or maybe a stove washing machine it's too big for a computer so it has to be for some kind of electrical appliance this could actually be pretty expensive that's going to take some research on my part to figure out what this goes to but it looks to be absolutely brand new that could be some money right there so I don't really want to guesstimate prices on this thing because it could be 50, it could be 100, I could be totally off and it could be 25, but from past selling experience, I bet you that's at least a $100 bill right there. At least a $100 bill. That's good. So I think this first box right there, this whole first box has paid for everything and we're still going. This is a good liquidation. Next, we got Chef Land food containers. These things are fantastic sellers in my resale shop. People buy these things like crazy. But uh, usually, like, looks like there's actually two packs in here, like two packs of, what, 10 or something like that. But I'll price them accordingly. Like, you know, 50 cents a piece, you know, when you break them up. Next. Oh, how cool. It is a Stormtrooper Star Wars lotion pump. That is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I, might, I love Star Wars. I might have to keep that. I don't know. That seriously might have to. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see if anybody in this watches this wants to buy this. I'll have to wait and see. But if nobody wants this, I might have to keep this. This will look freaking sweet in my bathroom. A Star Wars Stormtrooper soap dispenser. That's awesome. Uh, that's probably at least 10 bucks, I bet. I, I would have to look it up, but. And it's glass. That's freaking awesome. I like that. Last thing in the first box. It's kind of heavy. It is a shoe tree. Look at that. I have never sold this. The brand is called Honey Can Do Shoe Tree. Three revolving tiers, brilliant chrome finish, durable steel construction. Huh. Interesting. I've never sold this. I have never seen this before. That's the beauty of liquidations is you always see new stuff that you have never seen before. And it appears, everything appears to be brand new still. Um, of course, before I would sell this, I had to take this thing out a little bit closer to make sure it's all in there. But, uh... Let me check price on this thing really quick. I'll be right back because I'm kind of curious how much this thing costs. Curious. Okay, Honey Can Do. This thing sells for about like $25 new. Um, it's open box. This thing weighs, I'd say this probably weighs eight to 10 pounds. So shipping charges on this thing would be expensive. So logistically, it wouldn't make sense to sell this online because shipping charges would eat up all the profit. So it's pretty much, this has to go into my resale shop no matter what. So like usually if it sells for 25 new, I'll put it into my resale shop for like half price or less. So I'll probably price this out at like $12 in, in, in my resale shop. And I guarantee you, somebody's gonna buy it pretty quickly. 
So that's the first box. And that first box was really good. I got all my money back, plus made a little profit, plus got this really freaking awesome Star Wars Stormtrooper like soap dispenser. That is awesome. I like that. So uh, yeah, I think this thing alone probably be at least a hundred bucks just for that. So first box, we're already in a little bit of profit. Three boxes to go. This is why I love liquidations because they're just so much fun, honestly. Liquidations are a freaking blast. So uh, see how I told you earlier, like my liquidator said, this is kind of like a hodgepodge of four boxes. That first box, I mean, you had possibly a circuit from like a refrigerator or a stove, a soap dispenser, and it's pretty random stuff in here. I'm very intrigued when I'm going to find in these boxes. So here's the second one, let me show you what it looks like. Another very clean box. Nothing looks like, you know, beat up or dirty or nasty or anything. Here we got a little mini battery fan. That'll be about five bucks. Gotta say my catchphrase. I pretty much, I have my own catchphrase and it, it kind of became on accident. <laughs> so uh, next we got, oh, interesting. Here's little uh, stands. Plastic stands that you'd like put up kind of like in a V-shape. You put like pictures on it or something or whatever you want to display. Uh, how much I would charge for this? I have no clue. Not a whole lot, but the whole bag. It might be a really good thing for my dollar box. Let somebody find that and they'd probably be happy to find that thing for a dollar, I bet. Maybe over, ooh, the bottom of this box. I just saw a big ticket item. <laughs> the second box is a good box too. The bottom of this box, I just caught a glance of a very expensive item. That is like, this is truly like a hodgepodge liquidation. That, there's such random stuff in here. What is this? Oh, look at this. It is a pet safe like a, a water thing that shoots a constant stream of water for your cat or for your dog. These go for like 30, 40 bucks. I'd have to test that to make sure it works though. But uh, yeah, I'd probably sell it, you know, if, if it works, I'd probably sell it for half price. So maybe about $20 or so. If it works, I'd have to test it out though first. That's not bad. Man, the profit on this one just keeps adding up like crazy. Is this, is this a... Is this like an iPad case? I think it is. Did we just get some electronics? He, my Lick Lick Bear said there might be in this thing some electronics. I think this is, it's kind of electronics actually. Awesome. Kind of electronics. This is a, oh, you can see my camera that's recording right there. You can kind of see my setup right there. You can see how I'm able to see myself to make sure that I'm not like, you know, picking my nose or anything while I'm recording on camera, <laughs> my little flip up screen. Anyway, here is a, looks like a light up uh, vanity mirror for your makeup. And it actually has a built in light. Hold on a second, let me, let me see if this thing works. I got my portable little battery thing. We're just gonna test this thing out live on camera see if the light comes on one two three oh yep there it is how cool is this huh that's cool so little vanity mirror thing I just put in my little portable little battery thing put it to the back of it and you can do your makeup huh that's nice I guarantee that has a little bit of value to it. So my liquidator was correct. This will have a little bit of electronics in this palette. First electronics item. And honestly, it's brand new. It works perfect. The brand is called Asani. It'll probably go quick. So if you email me and I say it's already sold, please don't be mad because I guarantee you this thing will go very, very fast. So let's keep moving on. These first two boxes have been tremendous. Okay, here's a Marathon Digital Desk Clock. That's really nice. 
I'll probably put this in my shop for about five bucks. Next thing, active life inside you release and share your passion. David Archie active. Okay. 3D cutting, easy off tag. Okay. I'll just dollar box that more likely, whatever it is. Here we've got just a box that is cut, or cut, taped. I cut the tape. Ooh, it looks like a nice wooden box of something. What is this? Man, this has been a really good liquidation. This box is really freaking nice. Even smells like nice wood. You know how some wood smells cheap? Oh, some, some just fell out of it. Pick it up. Oh my goodness. This is, maybe, like it smells like good wood too. I don't know what this is. It has these labels here. See if it'll zoom in on the labels. That's what the labels say. Then it has this card right there. Oh, it's an essential oils accessory thing. Okay. So it holds all your oils. There's the inside of it. This is really nice. And like it's very high quality. Wow. I don't know how much this thing would sell for. I really do not know. Kind of stumped. But it is really nice quality. That's what the top looks like. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that thing up. No clue how much that thing sells for, but maybe 20, 30, 20, 25, 30. I have no clue. That's nice. I like that. Man, this, this has been a really good liquidation. Next, we've got a Stanley portable coffee cup. Brand new. Really? My goodness. It's a brand new Stanley, like one of their more expensive travel coffee cups. That is crazy. That's probably 20, 25 bucks because the Stanley stuff isn't cheap. That might even be closer to 30. I don't know. I'm going to look this thing up later too, but this second box is very profitable. And the big ticket thing is just wait. <laughs> this is crazy. Circa? Citrus power juicer. Okay. Open this thing up. Take a little glance. What it looks like on the inside. It doesn't smell used. You don't. S no, this. This also appears to be brand new. It just looks like the packaging is just a little bit. A little bit beat up packaging. I'm gonna have to look this thing up a little bit or look at it a little bit closer after this video, make sure it's not, you know, used. But that's probably at least another $25 bill right there. And now for the big ticket item in the second box I I've, I've kept talking about. You saw this thing in a liquidation, I think, I think from last week. I just got another one. This thing retails for around $225, and I sell these very easily at around $125 used. They move very fast. Um, if it if if that's if it's used. If this thing is brand new, you know, if I can tell it's brand new, then I can usually get about a 150 to 175 for them, but used no matter what, this thing's $125 all day long. Wow, this second box, like 125, 150, 2 2 3 this second box might have been around $250 box right here. Between $250, maybe as high as $300, depending on a couple of these things. I'm not sure how much these things cost. With that first box, I think this first two boxes alone, I might be at like $450 to $500 back so far. Wow. I paid $150. We got two boxes to go still. This is crazy. Sometimes with liquidations, you hit a home run. With this liquidation, I hit a home run. This is crazy, crazy. But hey, let me pack this box up 
and I will bring up the third box and we'll keep this bad boy going. Last two boxes. The first two were kind of epic. The first two were really fun. Box two was, was fantastic. Box one was fantastic. That's why I freaking love liquidations. And this is my full time job. How crazy is that? Let me show you what this one looks like. Looks pretty clean. Not bad. I do see my first thing of clothes in this one though. It might be a little tiny baby jersey it looks like. So that's probably going like dollar box. But here's a watch. What kind of watch is this? It has a bunny on it. There's the watch face. It probably won't focus on it. Yeah, it's not going to focus. But there's the watch face. It has kind of a, a mean bunny on it. I have no idea what brand this is. The box has nothing on it. It's going to take some research on my part to figure out what brand that thing is. No clue. It might have some value to it. I don't know. Next, we got a Weber 2, a Grill 2. I actually just sold one of these things on eBay for 40 bucks, literally like yesterday. Aquatech dollar box. These things are impossible to sell. Nobody ever buys these things. They usually end up in my dollar box at my shop. Nobody buys those. But I think brand new, they're like 10, 10 $12, but can't sell them. Putty pads. It's squishy. Oh, it's like leaking out. Oh, that's trash. Ooh, here is a very, very used and wet um, Life Straw brand. I might run this through my through my dishwasher or hand wash this. Probably put it into my dollar box because I don't. It's still good. It's not like nasty. It just used. What's this? It's not a record, like a vinyl, because it has weight to it. It's like a pan or something. What are you? It's metal. It's shiny. I don't know. It's metal. It's shiny. No clue. It's metal and shiny. No idea what that's used for. If you know what that's used for, it's called Rose Metal Products. That's what the box says. If you know what that is, I guess comment below. Let me know. No clue what that is. Digest Plus for healthy digestion and something, 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 something. Put into my shop for about five bucks. Super glue. Keeping that. I can use that. Egg poacher. Sounds kind of loose in the box, but it might just be just how oh it looks looks to be in new condition. Nope, nope. I think it might be used. I think somebody just put it back into the wrapper. So I'm going to look up prices on this. It'll probably go into my shop just because of the weight of it and it's used. So if it goes to my shop, I'll probably do like 10, 15 bucks on it. Here's a bottle of some kind of cleaner. Oh, it's sunblock, dollar box. Here is a stand, home basic scroll. Oh, it's a mug tree. You put your coffee mugs on it. Good dollar box item. Dollar box. A shower cone. So I guess you put it into your shower or something? Anybody know what a shower cone is? I'm gonna have to research this, but maybe about five bucks. Just guesstimating on that. I'm not sure, but this is cool. A marble 
uh, waffle maker. How awesome is that? Make your kid Marvel inspired waffles. That is awesome. Looks to be possibly new condition. Doesn't smell you, doesn't have like a you smell to it. The twist is still all tied up, so it might possibly still be brand new. Prices on this, I bet you maybe 30 bucks or so. But it looks to be possibly, possibly new. I'll have to look a little bit closer, but that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of a big kid at heart, if, if you can't tell. I mean, I kind of wear, you know, wrestling t-shirts all the time. So, kind of a big kid. Here is a bag. Oh, it's a hose. One of those hose that expands. Those always have holes in them used. So I won't even sell that. Article of clothing, dollar box. The last thing in this box. Stuart, do we have our first tool in here? It's supposed to be a hodgepodge box. It's not a tool, it is a tool. We do have a tool. Oh, it's a heat gun. Awesome. A Stuart heat gun. Uh. How much does a Stuart heat gun go for? Hold on. Looks like this brand, not a hugely expensive brand. It's like 15 to $20, but I mean, still not bad. I mean, it's like 15 to 20 bucks. Well, that is it for the third box. Let me throw this stuff back in here really quick. And then we will move on to the fourth and final box. So box number three wasn't the, this is probably the worst box so far out of the three. But I mean, it wasn't a bad box. It was still a good box. I mean, for 40 bucks right there. The Marvel thing was 30. This mystery watch. I mean, that third box alone is way over $100. So I think the first three boxes should easily, you know, bring back $550, $600. And the whole thing cost me around 150 bucks. So, I mean, that's fantastic. Last box. Let's end on a huge bang. How's that sound? Let me show you what this one looks like. This one also looks really clean. Looks like lots of big item stuff in this one. First thing, memory foam pillow. Brand is Comfort and Relax. This looks like the kind of pillow you pull out and it expands. So that's probably not much more than probably about 20 bucks. Here is... I don't even want to guesstimate what this thing might be by looking at it. I've been tricked before in the past with objects like this. So I'm going to set this thing aside and uh, I'll figure it out later what this thing might be. If you know what I'm saying. Next, Aquatech. Complete three stage filtration. Uh, this is probably about 20 bucks if it's new. And it's used. I can see water spots. So used, won't go for much. Five, ten bucks. Not a huge seller. Hard wax beads. A whole box of hard wax beads. Interesting. I'll take a little bit of research on my part. Hard wax beads. There's a label form. Maybe it says three packs of hard wax beans. Bean. Beans. Hmm plus 10 applicator spatulas. Maybe $10, not 100% sure. Next we got a really nice water bottle called Hydro Flask. And brand new. Reason why I got liquidated, because there is a dent in the side, which won't perfect, or this won't hurt the performance of whatsoever. It's liquidated because it has a small dent in it. This is probably a $20 or $30 item right there. So I'll probably eBay that. Brand new with a dent. Here's a rat zapper. Gotta test this thing out. I also gotta make sure that there's, there's no dead rat or mouse in this because past video I told you a story about that. About finding a dead mouse in one of these ones. But that would be about 15, 20 ish. Has no package, makes it a little bit less. Looks like we got a little scarecrow. 
maybe a Halloween decoration. See a little hay right there? So maybe about five bucks. Next we have uh, Melnor Most Advanced Timer Available. That could have a little bit of value to it. Give me a second. Sells new for about 55 bucks. This is an open package, so it's been returned. So I'm guessing if it if it works, probably about 25, 30 bucks right there. That's good. Three things left in here. A little plastic container. That'd be a great item for my dollar boxes. Oh. Here's a mystery item. Open this thing. Oh, a germ guardian. These things actually can sell for some decent prices. Depends on if it's new or used. Obviously this thing might be used, but I'll probably like put in my shop for about five bucks or so. About five bucks. And then we got an electric hot pot. Let's see, what's this thing? Oh, come on knife. Come on knife. Third, there we go, third time. Condition, it is used. So since it is used, pretty much it's going to my shop no matter what. I'll probably price it depending on, yeah, probably like six to eight dollars in that range, probably like six bucks in my shop. It probably sells for probably about 10 or 12 new. Last thing in this full liquidation, this is it. Last item. We have a two slice toaster. Let me see. This thing has been retaped and retaped and retaped like five or six times. This thing has a bunch of tape on it. Let's see. What new or used? It's used. So I have to try it out, make sure one is not a fire hazard, two it doesn't spark, because sometimes these things get returned because they're fire hazards or they spark. So if this thing doesn't catch my office or house on fire, I'll probably put them to my shop for about $8 in, in that range, like that. So that's the fourth box. Fourth box, maybe about $50, $60, so not bad. So all four boxes, I'd say easily probably $600 back. With the original price of 150, that's awesome. We're talking between four to $500 return on profit. That is fantastic for a liquidation that I purchased that didn't have a title of electronics or toys. It was pretty much hodgepodge. I mean, we had tools, we had garden, we had electronics, we had home, we had bed, we had bath, we had Halloween decorations. We had rat zapper killers. This was a true hodgepodge and it was a home run. This was an awesome liquidation, very profitable. So hopefully you enjoyed this, gonna look out. I'm gonna have a toy palette liquidation probably coming up this next Tuesday an electronics palette that I spent quite a bit of money on. So hopefully there's gonna be some killer stuff in it coming up this Friday night. So be on the lookout for that one. I'm excited about that electronics palette. I paid up for it. So hopefully we'll get some killer stuff in it. So anything in this video you wanna buy, hit me up, direct links below to contact me. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody who watches me and supports me. Thank you so much.